We are about a month in quarantine. Um, and um, I am uh, nine months pregnant. And I am very concerned um, because I gotta go to the hospital, obviously, <laughs> and I gotta deliver this baby. And um, although there's not been a lot of cases uh, where I gotta go, uh, last week actually the the department of babies was shut down because there was a mommy that was uh, infected with coronavirus, and that really concerned me very much, you know. Um, personally, I think my mom is probably going through a harder time. No, stop. You got, you have eight. You gotta take six out. Cuatro. Cinque. Just two. And two in Italian? For, you know, kids not in school, doing school in home by themselves, um, not be able to go out, not be able to work whatsoever. I don't know, you color, how many? What do you color? Do you color the breakfast one? Did you color brushing your teeth? For my daughter, Michaela, um, it's been a little, probably easier, I would say, for her because the, she's a humbug. Most of my days I'm on the computer and on my iPad. I wish that this could be over soon so I can go out. I didn't think I was gonna say that, but I miss school too. It's a little harder for me, yes. I feel closer to my family. Um, I don't think it's bringing us closer. Normally me and my brother normally get along, but like I said before, this is definitely putting stress on everyone's relationship with each other. Sometimes we're dealing with it in a positive way, but most of the time we're just kind of going with it, you know what I mean? Like. I should consider myself lucky that I have um, a little courtyard behind me because I get at least to get um, fresh air, get out of the house a little bit. I get to play a little bit of sports. You know, I get to play basketball a little bit with my little brother. I feel for my boy because that I know he's got it the hardest. Actually, I don't even talk to anybody outside the house whatsoever. I miss my friends. There's nothing really to to do, and I have a lot of time to think. I can't wait to see you. Just trying to get the time over with. Okay. Um. It's just hard in general. This quarantine has to go on for another year. I will probably go crazy. Don't know how long this will last, but. It's been 17 days now that uh, my daddy has been born. And uh, um, the first week is, was so tough. It was so tough um, because I went by myself. Um, um, the toughest thing besides going by myself to the, you know, delivery, delivering baby and everything is that uh, my husband couldn't, couldn't meet his own baby after seven days. That was the toughest thing. Um, and, and not being with my kids. And uh, it was just really rough.
for seven days. Um, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing better. I, um, I'm recuperating a little by little. It helps to have him home. Keeps us occupied and not going down each other's throats. I'm happy that he's here. We've been waiting for him for a long time. He's home now. And uh, we always said he was a little, a little s sign of hope, a little light at the end of the tunnel, you know? And, uh, and he's more than that, you know? He's, I can't even explain it myself, you know, and, 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 and the way that he, he, he makes us feel. Um, he, he's just perfect, my baby. And be able to hold him and, and he's healthy and being home with us right now is it's just perfect. I know everything is going to be okay. I think everything's going to be okay.